Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best Twixter using flow frames. If you don't know what flow is, basically it's a software that allows you to interpret the frames between frames to boost the FPS of a video. If that makes no sense to you at all, I don't blame you, but hopefully my example will help you get a better understanding of how flow works and how to use it. I will also be including a download for flow in the description and also I'll be including a file with everything I used in this tutorial. So basically just the project file, the resources needed to view it, and then the clip rendered before and after flow. So you can see uh, how I did everything, if this video doesn't help, or if you want to just experiment on your own with a pre-made clip, go ahead and do that. But to get started, what you want to do is you want to get your clip up, and basically you want to keyframe all the dead frames out, so it looks something like this, and then render it out as its own clip. And what I mean by that is obviously you want to keyframe your dead frames and get the clip shorter so basically if you don't know how to do that just keyframe every time the character moves like that and then move it closer together and cut your video short and then you want to just render that out on its own so you get a video that looks something like this I already did it so I'm just gonna be referring to this one and then after you've done that just open up your flow and then you'll see these settings but they're all gonna be different from mine right now so basically, for the input FPS, this just means how many more frames do you want, times 2, times 4, times 8. And then right here is what setting you're using. So basically, I would suggest using 1.8, which is the 2D optimized version. As you can see, it says updated 2D animation model. Uh, it says recommended 2.2, which I guess you can use if you'd like, but I think 1.8 works the best. And then same thing up here, using times 8, times 4. It's a pretty small difference, but I think just use times eight if you're gonna go for it. But what you wanna do is you don't wanna render a whole episode out. You only wanna render your clip that you need because this is uh, a pretty lengthy process and it's pretty hard on your CPU. So you don't really wanna burn that out. And then basically to add your uh, clip to flow, just click right here and then drag your video into here and then hit start once you did it. Uh, I'm not going to hit start since I already made my flow clips, but that's basically all you need to do for flow. Uh, I've experimented with this throughout the day, and I found that these are the best settings, even though it might take a little bit longer than using 4 or 2, obviously. Uh, 1.8 and times 8 is just the best. And then once you've rendered that video out, what you want to do is you want to go back into your After Effects and drag it into your comp. So like, here's mine my times 8 frames. As you can see, nothing really looks that different since uh, it's just being rendered in 23. But you can kind of tell, I'm not really sure. But here's where the big difference comes in. Uh, when you go in, I'm going to use this as an example since it's already twixed. When you go in and you want to twix your clip, uh, you pre-comp it obviously, and then add your twix. You want to make the twix whatever frame rate the flow clip was. So Basically, I have it at 191.8, and how you find out is uh, right here where it's the times 8 clip. You can see it's 191.81, and that's the FPS you want to use on the input. So instead of using your normal like 23.976 or 11, whichever one you use, use the flow clips input frames, which is going to be pretty high. And then if you're on times 4, 95. But since I'm using times 8 it's 191. Then after you're obviously just pre-comp, use whatever Twixter settings you're normally using, like here's mine. I mean if you want to copy that you can, but it doesn't matter what settings you're on as long as it's uh, the right frame rate. Then after, basically just graph your time remap uh, keyframes. This is the graph I use, don't know if you want to use it. Use whatever graphs you'd like, again doesn't matter, all that matters is that you've got the flow clip which helps the twixter a lot uh, and then obviously add your rsmb on top if you want if you don't that's cool normally i don't i just added it here for the sake of the video looks nicer but yeah uh, i'll play an example for you of what it looks like a regular twixter and then four times and then eight times so i'll see you in a sec Alright, as you can see, the 8x is so much better than the regular Twixter. Even the 4x is such a step up. 
And then if you're going to be like asking about warps at the bottom, warps at the top, my suggestion is you can obviously, or like you see the warp on the feet, like it's not that bad on eight. On four, it's pretty bad though. Well, I guess it's not that bad, but you can mask obviously like splining. Uh, splining plus flow is probably the best you can get and then using mats obviously but using mats and splining I think takes way too long for what I'm trying to do uh, and then if you have warps you can't fix at the top and the bottom like right here and up there just add black bars honestly that's that's my best advice but yeah that's it for the tutorial I uh, hope you enjoyed learned something have a great day or night and I'll see you in the next one